On the basis of molecular orbital theory, select the most appropriate option. So another way of、uh, wording this question should be: On the basis of molecular orbital theory, which of the following is the correct statement? Or which of the following statement is correct? So, let's take a look. It asks. It talk about the、uh, bond order of oxygen, and then whether it is、uh, paramagnetic or diamagnetic. Okay. Let's first work on the bond order. Bond order can be calculated. By using the bonding electrons subtracted by the anti-bonding electrons divided by two, and now let's look at the、uh, oxygen molecules,、uh, molecular orbital, and oxygen. Each oxygen atom has、uh, six valence electrons, and then O2. Six times two, that should be twelve, and those are the twelve electrons, and those are the orbitals: sigma two s bonding orbital, sigma two s anti bonding orbital, and so on and so forth. All right, okay.、Um, now we are ready to calculate the bond order. The number of bonding electrons we have two here, we have six here. No, I I mean two plus the four does six. Then there here another two. That's eight total of eight bonding electrons. All right, anti-bonding we have here this orbital sigma two s anti-bonding orbital and pi two p anti-bonding orbital. Total of four. Anti-bonding electrons. Eight minus four equals four divided by two. The bond order is two. Then obviously, A and B, they are out. So now it's between C and D. The correct answer. C says it's diamagnetic. D says it's paramagnetic. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, we do see unpaired electrons. If it's unpaired, if there are unpaired electrons, it should be paramagnetic. So therefore, the correct answer should be D.